In the previous lesson, we looked at horizontal text, but we also kind of got our feet on the ground with formatting, font sizes, all that kind of stuff. In this lesson, let's talk about vertical text, but let's have some fun doing it. So I am in folder three, and we are going to open up Stonehenge. Here we go. Now, before we get started, I do need some guides to help me along. So I'm going up to the word view on the pull down menu and going down to rulers. I'm going to come over here and pull a guide out. We've done this before in a previous chapter. If I pull it out, I want you to watch something as I move it. Might be kind of hard to see, but see it? Snap right there. See it? That means I'm on the center of the document. That's where I want it. I'm going to let go. I've got that one. I'm going to come up here and do the same thing this way, and it will snap. Now, it's easy to miss it if you go fast. So you just go slow, and it will snap. So I've kind of got the dead center right there going on. That's what I want. We don't need our rulers anymore, so let's turn those off. Get a little bit more space, as much as we can get here. There we go. So I've got a bullseye on Stonehenge. Next step is I want to basically use my rectangular marquee tool, and I want to draw a selection based on this right half here. Now it'll snap to those lines, so it makes it easy. Okay, just like that. Actually, I think it might be a little bit off right there. So what I'm going to do is go up to the word select on the pull-down menu and go into transform selection. Now that allows me to transform the selection without transforming what's inside of it. And now I think I got it. Now I'm happy. Now I'm going to go up to my adjustments and go down to invert. So I'm inverting only the area I had selected. So we've got a negative on one side and a positive on the other. There are no options for invert. Let's close that. Step one is done. Let's pick up our type tool. Now in the type tool right now, I have Cooper Black, which I think is probably something close to what I want. So I'm going to come up here and click, and I'm going to type in the name Stonehenge, all in caps. Now I'm going to click here to commit. I'm going to use my shortcut to make it bigger. That is Control-T on a Windows system, Command-T on a Mac. And I'm going to come over here and drag and make it bigger, like that. Click here to commit. Now I'm lucky because Stonehenge is an even number of letters, four and four. And I'm going to use my arrow keys now to move it. You can use your arrows, of course. And I'm going to nudge it over here until it's right like that and bring it up to about here. Now let's come over and pick up our type tool. I'm also going to press the letter D on my keyboard. Now that defaults your colors to black and white. I'm going to come over here and just select those four letters that we can't see. I'm going to come in here and just do white. Commit. And now we have stone hands. Let me do this too. Let me move it just a little bit more with my arrow key, something about like that. It isn't a separate layer, so do whatever you want to. So stone hinge. Now, I want another word down here, and I do want it in the same font, so why reinvent the wheel? That layer is selected. Come up here, hold down the Alt key, Option key on a Mac, Alt in Windows, and drag down. Put it right about here for now. Now, it's going to be the word versus, V-E-R-S-U-S. -S. So I'm going to select, rather than have to do it all over again, double-click, select these four letters, and type in, in caps, V-E-R and select these, and type in S-U-S, and then commit. I'm going to use my arrow keys again, and let it slowly go over here. Okay, just like that. Now, I want on the left, facts versus fiction. So that's going to be vertical. So we pick up our type tool, and we come over here, and we use the vertical type tool option. Come over here and click, type in facts and I'm doing it all in caps. Now I'm going to use my little trick again where I do the control T, command T on a Mac, control T in Windows, and go ahead and stretch that out to where I want it to be. And just to be fun about this, let's go ahead and double click to select it, and let's go into our fonts right here and choose a different font. Something maybe similar, but not quite, maybe a charcoal. So it's a little bit different. Click again. Okay, there's facts. Now that's going to have to dissect right there. That's why I have this one here too, so I can see that. So the C would be right in the middle, F-A-C-T-S. And I think that would be better maybe in black, but we'll worry about that in a second. I want fiction over here, same font. 
So again, why reinvent the wheel? Hold down the Alt key. That's the Alt key in Windows, Option key in a Mac, obviously, and bring it over. And let's go ahead and double click it, select it, type in fiction. Now that word is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to use my arrow keys and we're going to split the T on that one and then move it over a little bit. Now on this one, I think it should be in black. So let's go back to it. Now the shortcut, remember, to select a layer when you don't have auto select layer on is to hold down the control key, command key and a Mac control and windows and click. And it'll take you right there. Now if we come back here and do the black on white, if I do want the text to be in the foreground color, don't forget the shortcut there. That's Alt, Backspace in Windows, and Option, Delete on a Mac. So we've got Stonehenge, Facts versus Fiction. Now while we're here, I will mention one other thing to you about vertical text. Let's go back in here. doesn't matter which layer we're on in terms of font. But don't forget this option right here allows me to change it from one to the other. So if I put it in horizontal, Maybe it'd be easier to put together in horizontal, and then you want a vertical. All you have to do is click that button, make it real easy for you. Let's go ahead and save this. So we click here, it won't let us get out of it. We have to save it. And there you go.